I also love that Donald has written four characters and depending on who you are when you see the play, mm -hmm. you start to side with someone. Yes, yes, yes. And then there's a certain point where you say, ah, oh, that person, may, like, <laughs> no, that, that's wrong. And then one scene later, you're like, oh my God, he has the argument. He has the argument that I can stand behind. Um, you know, mm -hmm. I, I, I keep on flip-flopping and my empathetic loyalties mm -hmm. get twisted. They yep. get twisted around. And somehow these seemingly mutually exclusive notions demand to be held you know like you know it, it can come down to stay or go well I want both mm -hmm. well you can't have both and as an audience member I just love that kind of tension yeah. when you wrote this did you have a sense Donald that um, people would identify more with one character over the other or did you try to make them all universal of course I tried to, to try to hear them all I tried to give them all a voice mm -hmm. um, that's, you know, I think, you know, good writing tries to do that, tries to get in the, the heads of people who you don't agree with necessarily, mm -hmm. but you try to see things from their point of view and, and give it validity and integrity. And, you know, Tom, uh, you know, I think is the sort of person that uh, most people would reject out of hand as a villain, as you say. Mm -hmm. He left his family. But, you know, I think also finding his... Finding the motivation for his straying in his marriage, his straying, um, was part of giving him that integrity. Mm -hmm. um, what motivated this otherwise decent guy to do this and you know, to, to, to let him have a voice mm -hmm. uh, was really essential. You know, the first time the play, <laughs> the play was done in Louisville and Tom said, um, uh, I hope you never know the loneliness I've known, he says to Gabe in the third scene of the first act. And I, I find that a very sad admission on mm -hmm. his part. I, th I find it really revealing of his you know, commuter existence and how isolated he can feel in his breadwinning role. Mm -hmm. And uh, when there was a preview in Louisville when the play was first done where somebody shouted out after he admitted, I hope you never know the loneliness of now. And someone yelled out, pig. Oh. And I thought, oh, no. Yeah. The actor who was playing Tom was crushed by this afterwards. And you know, he was shaken up by it. Mm -hmm. They hate me. They hate me. I said, well, they have problems. But it was very interesting to see the kind of you know, Jerry Springer response that it elicited.